Okay, what I have here is two butternut squash peeled and cut and de-seeded, one Fuji apple, two golden potatoes, and uh, that's about, that's a, that's a little bit, that's probably close to three pounds, maybe a little shy of the squash. I could have used another apple, it's up to you. I like a Fuji apple, you can use whichever apple you like. I like a golden potato, that's what I recommend. <clears throat> and uh, this is what it looks like before I chop it up. By the way, you can also go to Costco and get the butternut squash already peeled and reseeded at a good deal. I recommend it, but today I just did the work. Okay, here's the spice mix. I've got, uh, uh, and not, nothing for me is exact, I just kind of eyeball it and do what I do. <clears throat> this is a healthy teaspoon of garlic powder, about a half a teaspoon of salt, or maybe a little less because I generally go light on the salt. You can always add salt later uh, in your dish, in your bowl. I got four or five shakes of garam masala. You know, it's got the little cover on the top, so you know, I put about four or five shakes in there. Then I got about four or five shakes of cumin. <clears throat> I got a very strong teaspoon of white pepper because I like pepper. I got a healthy teaspoon of onion powder. Um, I got uh, a light teaspoon of cayenne pepper in there, so um, not quite a full. Um, about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and uh, four or five shakes of uh, nutmeg. And that's what the spice mix is right here. And I'm about to dump that in. I'll just go ahead and do that. Put that right on down in there. Okay, that's about uh, four, maybe a little light, three and a half, or a little bit more cups of uh, vegetable broth made with uh, better than bouillon vegetable broth uh, mix, which is really tasty. And I mix it a little bit stronger than it says on the recipe. You know, that's up to you. You figure it out. I recommend, you know, kind of mixing it up a little bit. It's going to, it's going to. Heat, but that's fine you get it it's all gonna steam up it's all going to the same place once it gets done so it'll all be mixed up just fine but you can spread it around if you like you can just leave it in one spot too doesn't really matter it'll come out the same way looks a little better like this okay okay right now I'm in the instapot I love instapot I got a couple different models of these types of things but instapot is good for the soup and we're gonna use the pressure cook push pressure cook it's 10 minutes I like 11 you set it forget it it'll take care of its thing um, and then we will see it when it's cooked <clears throat> okay so this is what it looks like once you <clears throat> take the lid off and uh, and then what you need is one of these okay I have a pasta it's a blender and uh, they're a little bit of a booger to clean. Make sure you clean it well. It has a little gasket in there. Um, you can see that. Make sure you clean it. And uh, then what we're going to do is I've got some. I got some. Actually, I'm not using this one. <clears throat> you can use this brand. Doesn't really matter. This one is a newer can. <clears throat> this one I bought a little bit before, so I have this. Uh, coconut cream. <clears throat> I'm going to use the other can. I'm going to put the whole can in here and then I'm going to use the other can to dip a little bit uh, out and put in a bowl as I serve it. That's why I always keep a couple cans on hand or more. And uh, But just note it's coconut cream, not coconut milk, not coconut water, coconut cream. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out and I'm going to dump it in there and then I'm going to take another video and I'm going to mix this stuff up and you're going to see how it tastes. Okay, so that's Thai coconut cream right there. Yeah, it still smells fresh. All good. <clears throat> so now I'm going to take this blender over here. Put that down in there. Okay, now that's what it looks like. It's all creamy. You can see here. 
All right, I'm gonna give it a little taste. I forgot to mention that I'm a little generous with the cayenne pepper, so mine is, uh, and the white pepper, so mine, and mine is a little spicy. If you don't like spicy, you need to back off on that. Mm. Yep, that'll eat good. That'll eat real good. Mm. I'm gonna tell you what, that's gonna eat just fine. I like to get make some sourdough bread with a little butter, whatever. You can have it on the side. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a fine, that's a fine pot of butternut squash shoot there. So I hope you enjoy it. So that's the finished product. I opened up that second can of uh, Thai coconut cream and dripped some in. I got some delicious garlic bread heating up in the oven. Uh, this is going to eat just fine. It's just the right amount of spicy. A little bit of kick, but not overwhelming. If you're someone who likes something a little less spicy, then dial it back. If you like a little more, you can dial it up. But uh, I'm going to tell you what, this is about as good as it gets. Enjoy. Enjoy.